But I can at least give it, like, another shot after I, like, calm down a little bit. It's so long. What's my uptime right now? 28 minutes. So that was probably, like, a 25-minute long attempt. Because I started this attempt, like, three minutes into stream, I think. You can save it, too, if you fall down. Uh, the only problem is that if... If you're if you fall too fast, then Mario outspeeds the camera, so he'll die when he reaches the bottom of the screen. So I could have saved it in theory, but I was just like trapped inside the blocks that are forcing you down. So I couldn't have really gotten out. It starts off so innocent, too. Like, look at this. Also, um, here, this is- that's what the green block does. Now, if you hit the green block from on top, you can bounce directly up, which sometimes is helpful, but I don't know how to do it consistently. I got it by, like, pure luck at, at that attempt, at least once. Like, I don't know how you deliberately bounce up here. With that, oh, sometimes you just go through it, I guess. Like, I bounced up there when I came from below it. I literally cannot explain why it happens. Most of the time, it just bounces you left or right. But yeah, this is definitely an endurance test. It's like, I got through all the hard parts, too. Yeah, it's vanilla turnaround. I got through all the hard parts on that attempt. All that was left was to hit the message box. That's insane. Maybe I should practice the message box again. And it's not even attempting to go for it that killed me. I just... I just died. While preparing myself to go for it. Okay. Making me moderate in the middle of this. <laughs> yeah, the vanilla turnaround is the least of your worries in this. If you don't know how to do two tile climbs or parody manipulation, you're just not gonna win. And not just normal parody manipulation, you also need mod 4 parody manipulation. I mean, at the beginning, it obviously doesn't matter. Like, I think that, like, a good exercise for someone who is, like, still, like, learning, like, already good, but still learning, would be just see if you can get halfway through this level. Because the second half is when it really starts. It's nothing to feel dumb about, it's just really technical ways of controlling your speed while flying. And now I'm missing pumps. <laughs> so, like, Mario slows down in increments of 6 and speeds up in increments of 4 per frame that you're holding forward. So let's say that your target is 1 speed and you have 3 speed. The difference between 3 and 1 is 2. So if you change your speed in increments of numbers divisible by 4, you will never get 1 speed. You can get minus 1, and you can get 3, but you can't get 1. So, oops, to change it, you need to uh, press B an odd number of times, because then you're not changing it in increments of 4, because 6 is 4 plus 2. So that offsets your mod 4 speed by 2. 
So if you press B an odd number of times, now you can get one speed. Now you can get one speed and five speed, but you couldn't get three speed. So keeping yourself in that parity makes it easier to get one speed and makes it impossible to get three speed or minus one speed. So right now I have one speed. So if I want to back up, but go back to one speed, I would need to tap B an even number of times. So I tap it once, and then a second time. And I'm back to one speed now with some forward taps in, in the, thrown in the middle. Uh, no, I use a Pokémon Tournament controller. So if you notice that you have three speed and you want one speed, then you know you need to tap B a total number of times that is odd, along with some forward taps. So you kind of need to keep a running tally in your head as you're slow flying through something like this. If your speed is currently, uh, like, ha like if you've pressed B an even or odd number of times, and trying to, like, incorporate that into your movement so that you have the right parity when you want it. So right now I just pressed it three times, that's four times, six times, eight times, ten times, eleven, twelve, oops. Well now it doesn't fucking matter because I'm doing whatever the hell this is. Hey, why does this work? Someone make a level out of this, please, I'm begging. Now, the scary thing is, what's gonna happen when I get out of these two walls? I guess hold right and hope for the best. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. This is fine. Now I don't know what my, what my, uh... Okay, I have even speed, and now I'm back to odd. So you, you also need to know normal parity manipulation, which is noticing if you have even speed and then letting yourself get odd speed, or making yourself get odd speed. This is how my brain feels when I can't focus. So that's four taps and I'm back to one speed. My nose itches. This is so sad. I would like it to stop. Five, six, seven. Oh, well. I need to stop counting out loud. I know how to count in my head. I don't need to demo it. I mean, hey, we're still alive. I have no idea what my parody is right now. It's probably even. Let's see. Uh, no, that's... Wait, is that two speed? No, that's one speed. Yeah, it's odd. But yeah, like, this is a perfect example of what I meant before. You get one good attempt for the day, and then, like, both your brain and your hands just get completely fried. I can't even get to halfway now.
Yeah, you're right. It's just like, I could have one shot at that ending, and I just would have never had to think about it again. And now I'm sad. Not really, this is still a really fun level to play. Like, I'm enjoying this, and also I kind of don't want it to be over a little bit. I mean, I don't want it to be over, but I also don't, because, like, when I beat this level, there are no more Pogio hacks to play. Other than Mingly Mario, but I'm not doing key jumps. I'm not a real Kuso. Kuso fan. Big Kuso fan. Speedruns win. Yeah, actually speedrunning this level. <laughs> I would love to make a task of this level, it would be so funny. Just like doing uh, infinite air catches. Bouncing off of every moon block. The funny thing is, now I actually feel warmed up, because I didn't do warm-ups at all before my first attempt. And now my hands are like, yeah, we can do double pumps now, no big deal. Oh, you, you needed that, like, ten minutes ago? Oops. Okay, I lied. I can only kind of do double pumps now. See, this is when it starts to get a little scarier, but it's still really easy as long as you know what you're doing and you stay calm. It's not like later when it's actually fucked up. I should probably turn here. I bet I can make this. Easy peasy. Cleared that moon. Couldn't be you. It just takes practice. A lot of practice, but it's just practice. I've been playing SMW Cape for like... I want to say six years now little over that. Just like focusing on improving my movement and control that whole time. Cape level one dysphoria had you all fucked up. I should play that hack one of these days. Oops, I accidentally sped up more than I wanted to. So now we're at the zigzags. I hate the zigzags. The zigzags are hard. And they're, like, psychologically hard. Like, they get in my head. But once you're through the zigzags, that's, like, when the real level starts. I think getting through the z Like, getting... Not through the whole thing, but at least making it, like, up to here, I think, would be good practice for someone who's like, I want to do... Atelier Umar Special World, and I want to improve my cape skills, I think getting up to here or so would really help. Yeah, I know what you mean for sure. 
the zigzags, it's actually easier to have three speed rather than one speed. But if I have one speed, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to take it. And the other thing to keep in mind is that your mod 4 parity actually inverts when you do a turnaround. So if you have one speed and you turn around, you will then need to do an odd number of B-taps to get back to one speed. Because you go from 1 to minus 1, which is a change of 2. So that actually flips your mod 4 speed by, flip by turning around. Because your absolute change in speed is zero mod, or uh, some number, mod 4 equals 2. Which is interesting how that works, it's just weird math. As you can see, that's what I just did right there. Turned around, sped up, and then a single B-tap got me back to one speed. Getting out of the zigzags is the hard part, really. Like, this climb right after, uh, this. Like, a three-tile climb is objectively not that bad, but it fucking- it gets in your head. The shit gets in your head. And you can panic easily if you don't get the turnaround you want. Lost control a little there, but we got it back. And that's out of the zigzag, so this is basically where the level really starts. Because we're almost at the letters now. The letters spell out, thank you for playing Mingli. So my previous PB got to the K in thank. <sighs> yeah, what's up, War Puppy? I will probably not read that right now, because now I'm starting to focus, but hi. Okay, there's the E. So that's the end of Mingli. I am feeling a bit more calm than I did last time, though I still have a long way to go, and a lot of scary stuff between here and the end. Especially if I'm messing up really basic movements like this. Ooh, I might not need to turn around. Okay, that was clean. That was clean. See, this is like also a three-tile climb effectively right here, but it doesn't psych you out as much as the previous one does. And it's also over much faster, so that's part of it. Like, this entire time I have stayed in a three-tile white space. Okay, well, not anymore. But we are still alive. Maybe I should just stop talking altogether. <laughs> Yo, what's up, TJB? TJB, I fucking died at the message box. Not even attempting to get to the message box, I literally, like, was preparing to do the movement to get the message box, and I died. So, I basically won. I got to the top.
Also, this is my thank you for teaching me about mod 4 manipulation, because, like, I don't know how the fuck else you're- Like, I don't- Like, I'm sure this level was doable without knowing that, but holy fuck. It's one of those things where you kind of, like, in intuitively know it exists. Because you can kind of feel it after playing enough cape. But, like, actually, like, understanding it definitely helps a lot, I think. The exact same spot too, I think. Alright, we got through Mingli. You've minged your last Lee. a fucking double pump. Alright, this is a little scary. But it's fine. It's fine. Okay, there's the G from playing. My backwards pumps could be cleaner, admittedly. But it's okay. They don't need to be perfect. Not yet, anyways. I would like to get back to one speed now, please. Take your time, though. There we go. Whew. Scary level. I don't remember my strat for this part. Do I do a turnaround? I guess we'll find out when I get uh, a little higher up. Uh, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Not ideal, but I'll go for it. This is fine. And we're back under control. Everything's fine. How do I want to approach this?
there is a bug. I think it's an ant. I would like it to not be there. But I'm not looking away from the screen right now. Good save. <sighs> you know, I'm not gonna question it. I think I flipped my parody. I need to find out if I did. No, I didn't. I think it's worth turning around here, just to be safe, no reason to be risky. I think this is the R and 4 I haven't been keeping track. Yeah, it is. shift in my parody. The fucking bug is back. I'm not in a rush. I actually think that was one speed. Approach this carefully, very carefully. No reason to take unnecessary risks. Getting a little shaky, I just need to focus myself. Nice, very clean. We're back to thank. Last word. Not as nervous as last time, but still very nervous. Partly because I keep messing up my vertical climbs, but it's fine. Almost over.
Oh boy. It's fine. The nerves of that part are unreal. Fuck me. <sighs> Got my parody back, that's all I wanted. need to remember my training <sighs> thank you TJB for mod cape
It's okay. Losing my even speed really tripped me up there. I couldn't get it back. I just, I need to focus. I need to focus. I can do this. It's not over. Just focus. I have even speed. Not anymore. Good height cancel. Good height cancel. We're back to thank. One word to go. Okay, let's do this.
gaming. <clears throat> oh gosh. That's a long time to be holding the Y button without letting go for one frame, I'll tell you what. That was a fucking 40 minute attempt. And now... It's over. Whew! <laughs> so many, so many plot twists and turns in that one. I like how the first attempt of the day had no major mistakes and got to the end in 25 fucking minutes, and then the second attempt, I don't even know what that was, <laughs> but it was somehow savable at each mistake. <laughs> oh gosh. Mod, mod cape. Who's only up is done. That was an incredibly fun time. And I'm very glad I played it, and I'm very grateful to Pogio for making it. Another banger from Pogio. Now I don't know what else to play. <laughs> Once more into the breach. 